hey guys it's up jasmine hair and welcome back to my channel if you'd like to see me transform my hair from this to this make sure you keep on watching So I'm literally just diving right into it. As you can see, I'm combing through my hair. I just washed my hair, so I'm just combing through any knots and tangles that I may have formed whilst it was drying. So quick disclaimer, I can see that my hands are dry and I knew that my hands are dry whilst even filming the video, but I had to keep washing my hands just because of you know different products that I was using. I didn't want it to interrupt what was going on with my hair. So yeah, that's out the way. First off, I went ahead and I parted my hair into different sections and this is what's going to be the style of the front of my hair. So I wanted to put my hair into triangles just for the, the front part just because I thought it would look more neater and more flattering. So now that I am satisfied with the partings and section of my hair, I'm actually going to go ahead and gel this section of hair. So I'm taking the L'Oreal Paris Extreme Hold 48 Hour Indestructible Gel. When I say this gel is the bomb.com. If you don't know about it, research about it. And if you see it in the shops, it only goes for like three or four pounds, so you can't go wrong. And I've never had a bad, bad experience with this gel. It's so good. If you've got like coarse hair or less manageable hair, I really, really recommend this gel. I wouldn't even say it's your style anymore. I would actually say this gel is so good. And I think it's a men's gel as well. I have no bad complaints about it. So give it a try and let me know what you think about it. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just brush through the gel through this section of hair and comb through the gel. So before I secure this section with my elastic bands, I'm going to pull my baby hairs out from that section just so it's easier for me to style once my hair is completed. So obviously now the next step here is securing this section with my elastic bands and I take about three elastic bands just because my hair is so short and I don't want anything to come out. I take three elastic bands to secure this hair and all that gunk you can see I literally had just dyed my hair as well so it's semi-permanent dye that is literally coming out with the gel on top of it so yeah that is why I keep washing my hands throughout this whole video. So after that section that I had just shown you, I went ahead and just did the rest of my hair. It was about 2 a.m. in the morning. I was tired and completely over it. And I just really wanted to finish my hair and go to sleep. So I've just sped through this part of the video and then I can show you what I really done in the next clip. So this is how I secured the extension to my hair using a rubber band. I'm taking my prepared hair, as you can see, and my rubber band, and I am securing the hair on top of the band, like so. Okay, easy peasy. Now taking the band from my thumb, I am looping it onto my middle finger and securing the hair. Once you've pulled that band from your thumb to your middle finger, you want to take the band literally directly underneath and pull it up and over your middle finger until it's secured and creates a loop for the hair. So once you pull that band, as you can see right now, it creates a loophole and secures that hair in place. And don't worry if there's a sort of bump in there like mine, it's okay because once you attach the hair, it will be easily hidden. So now for the wrapping method. 
you actually want to go ahead and divide your hair into two sections and from each section take two small pieces of hair at the end of it you should then have two sections one big section and one small section so taking that smaller section you want to wrap it around the base of your hair covering the elastic band once the elastic band has been covered, you then want to gradually bring it upward, covering your hair. Once I'm satisfied with how firm I've wrapped my hair, I then let go of that smaller section and go back to the bigger section and then divide that into two. So now taking any part from that new section that I've just created, I'm going to take that wrapping hair and add it to either part of that new section. And as you can see, I'm literally just twisting it in until I feel that it's okay to then create a bigger twist. <laughs> Now I know you guys see my hair peeking through underneath the twist so I'm just going to show you how I hide my hair and this is why I feel that the wrapping method is extremely good for women with short hair just because there's problems like these you want to move your hair around you want to style it but your hair is just peeking through you can easily take the hair that you wrapped around the base of the twist and just slide it up so I'm just going to show you again but close up and slower I slide the hair up literally like so so this part is completely freestyle I decided to gather my hair up and wear the half up half down hairstyle no hair bands included I've taken a braid or twist sorry and just wrapped it around my hair and I've decided to wear it like this and I'm calling this the goddess hairstyle because I honestly felt like a queen. I just felt so pretty. So yeah. So time to tame those baby hairs. I love a slicked look so I applied that same gel across my hairline and let it set in for a bit i didn't actually go ahead and style my edges straight away I, I did let it set in my hair for about i would say 30 to 30 seconds to a minute um again excuse my dry hands man this is so disgusting <laughs> but you know i had to do what i gotta do so i've taken a comb i i prefer combs than toothbrushes when it comes to styling my baby hairs so I've taken a comb and just done my team. Then just taken a silk wrap and this is specifically for my hairline. I've just popped it on my hair and then I've gone to sleep because I was tired as you can see. I was so tired and I was so over it but I was really excited as well. So fast forward to two days later, I decided to accessorize my hair and I just bought these accessories from a hair shop in North London. Also, look at my hairline, look at my edges, they're still in place. This is two days later. When I say this gel, it really, really is the business. So if you have never ever bought this or used it, I really suggest that you buy this and you know, just try it out. I think it's so much better than Eco Styler and it doesn't damage your hair or flake. So yeah guys, <laughs> this is the end of my tutorial. I really hope that it was in depth and helpful for anyone who's wanting to do their hair and wanting to try out this hairstyle. Please let me know if you like this method, if you like the tutorial. If you have any questions, just please leave them down below and I'll be sure to answer them. Until next time guys, see you later. Bye.